Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to teach you how you can correctly identify trends and draw trend lines. Trend is the key concept of technical analysis and the most important subject that you must learn for trading. So stay tuned and let's get started. Without a doubt, trend is the most important aspect of technical analysis and it plays a key role in this field. In fact, the whole technical analysis is built upon this principle that the price movements in financial markets are not totally random and they do trend. As you probably know, trend is the direction of the market and you've definitely seen on the charts that the overall movement of price for an asset is sometimes up, sometimes down, and sometimes flat, just moving horizontally. When the price is generally increasing and the overall movement is up, it's an uptrend. We say the market is in an uptrend. You will never see the prices moving like straight line all the way up or down. And there is always volatility and oscillations. And having waves like this is the natural characteristic of all financial markets. These short movements against the overall trend are called retracements, corrections, or pullbacks. And they help us in identifying trends. As you can clearly see, see they are making some highs and lows and as long as that each high is higher than the previous high and also each low is higher than the previous low we say the market is in an uptrend or in another words the market is bullish and the overall movement of the market is up if this condition doesn't hold and violate it for example the next high or low becomes equal or lower than the previous high or low it shows that the uptrend is weakening and losing strength and there is a possibility possibility that the price may go to a trading range and moving sideways or a reversal may happen and the market may turn to a downtrend. In downtrend, the price is generally decreasing and the overall movement is down. Here also these short movements against the overall direction actually help us to identify downtrends. As you can see, because of these retracements or pullbacks, the market is making some highs and lows. And as long as that each high is lower than the previous high and also each low is lower than the previous low, we say the market is in a downtrend or in another words, the market is bearish and the overall movement of the market is down. If this condition doesn't hold and violate it, for example, the next high or low becomes equal or higher than the previous high or low, it indicates that the downtrend is weakening and the price may go to a trading range or a reversal may happen and the market change its direction to an uptrend. Now that I explained the concept of trends and how they are identified in the market, let's see how we draw a trend line for a trend so that we can use the trend for trading purposes. For drawing any line, we need at least two points. And here for drawing trend line for this uptrend, we need at least two lows. We connect these two lows with a line and extend it to the right to give us the possible direction of the price movement that may happen. The slope of the line is positive because we are in an uptrend and each low is higher than the previous low and this line is confirmed as a valid trend line if the price touches this line for the third time and after that advances again uptrend lines act as support level and ideally when the price reaches to the trend line it bounces and go higher higher than the previous high in fact when the price gets close to the trend line buyers take the control and push the price up higher than the previous high as long as the price stays above the trend line, we are in an uptrend and it's said that the market is bullish and buyers are much stronger than sellers and are pushing the price higher and higher. But when the trend line is broken and the price falls below the line, it shows that the uptrend is weakening and the buyers are losing strength. And this gives the possibility that the uptrend may end and the price go to a trading range or a reversal may happen and the market may turn to a downtrend. Trend. The same goes for downtrends but in the opposite direction. Here for drawing trend line we need at least two highs. We connect the two highs with the line and extend it to the right. The slope of the line here is negative because each high is lower than the previous high and this line is confirmed as a valid trend line if the price touches this line for the third time and after that declines again. Downtrend lines act as resistance level and when the price touches the trend line 
it stops and falls and it goes lower, lower than the previous low. In fact, when the price reaches to the trend line, sellers take the control and drive the price to lower levels. As long as the price stays below the trend line, we are in downtrend and the market is bearish, which means sellers are much stronger than buyers and are pushing the price lower and lower. But when the trend line is broken and the price goes above the trend line, it shows the downtrend is weakening and the sellers are losing strength and this gives the possibility that this downtrend may end and the price go to a trading range or a reversal may happen and turns to an uptrend. When you're drawing trend line also the position of lows and highs are important. For example in drawing this downtrend line if the highs are too close to each other or too far from each other your trend line is not a valid trend line and it may be broken easily. As a general rule it's better to have the lows or highs in nearly similar distances. Please pay attention that for drawing trend line there is no hard rules for picking the points and you must show flexibility when drawing trend lines. For example your line can be on the closing level through shadows, end of shadows or even through body of a candle. The goal is to find the area where the market participants show reaction to those areas and you see the price action is confirming higher lows in the case of uptrend or lower highs in the case of downtrend. The most important point that you must pay attention when drawing trend lines is that it's not necessarily a line and sometimes a zone better describes the trend line. So if we can fit a line we go with that but if considering a zone better describes the price Section, so we draw a zone. Also pay attention that sometimes because of a news or whatever the reason you may see extreme lows or highs that are not matched with other lows or highs in that period. So when you're drawing trend lines you must also consider these kinds of volatilities and it makes sense to ignore these kinds of spikes on the chart. Always remember, as I said, you must show flexibility and adapt to the current situation of the market. Another important point about trend lines is slope. The ideal slope of a trend line would be 45 degree and anything near to this. The steeper the slope, the less valid the trend line, which means it's not strong enough to hold the price and can be broken easily. When you see a steep trend line like this, it means that this sharp angle makes it difficult for the trend line to be a strong resistance level in the case of downtrend or strong support level in the case of uptrend. On the other hand, also a trend line with shallow slope can be considered a weak trend line that can be broken easily. So when you draw a trend line, also pay attention to the slope for evaluating the strength of the trend line. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you found any value in this video please like it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.